Hello fellow entrepreneurs, my name is Eliza and I talk about how to build a tech company from the ground up as I go through it. So this week it has been cold and usually what I like to do when it's cold out is I like to take a cup of tea and read a book. So today I thought I would talk about some of my favorite books for entrepreneurs. And yes, I have pink and purple hair now. I am now a real tech entrepreneur. Yeah, let's do it. These are some of my favorite books beyond the sort of obvious startup owner's manual and building a business model that I think are pretty commonly recommended. But if you haven't read those, I definitely recommend going out and reading them first and then come back here. Okay, so let's begin. So the first book I have here is called The Entrepreneur's Roadmap. Um, so from concept to IPO. Um, I'm going to be honest here. I haven't read the entire book. It is pretty dense. Um, but it really does take you through every single stage of a company. Some of it can be a bit redundant, some of it new, but what I like about it is that each section is written by a subject matter expert in that field. So for example, when it's talking about VC funding, it's written by people from Flybridge Capital Partners, which is a pretty well-known venture fund. So it's really great to get that insight from people who specialize in that field as opposed to perhaps a single author who sort of has to do everything. Um, so it makes it a really valuable resource. I sort of use it like a textbook when I'm focusing on one specific thing that I need to do. So next up I have Everybody Writes. Um, I will include all the links to these books in the description down below. So feel free to look at that. Um, but this one is pretty specific to writing and it both offers kind of a method of how you can approach writing as well as really specific tips for doing things like headlines, um, etc. So I think that this book is really, really good, especially for CEOs because a company, you do two things, you make things and you sell things. As the CEO, usually your job is to sell things. You're selling yourself, you're selling the company, you're selling the founding team, the concept, the vision for your company to your employees. You are often selling quite a bit and that means that you are responsible for emails and scripts for videos and pitch decks and all sorts of things. Um, so writing and being able to communicate really clearly and really well is super, super important. Um, so I really like this book. For one, it's actually just a really enjoyable read. And then secondly, as I said before, it has a good mix of a sort of methodology for writing that you can do while also having some pretty real world tips that I can constantly refer back to as needed which is really, really nice. Next book, we have Taking People With You. Uh, this was given to me by a friend of mine's dad, so thank you, Mark. Um, and this is really about being a good boss, being a good leader. Um, it's based off of a lot of stories of people who are not good bosses, uh, which I'm sure most people can relate to. But now that I've started to be on the other side of sort of being the boss, um, I can start to see how people could fall into these traps. And it's really nice to have a book that speaks to these things that kind of helps me keep the perspective to be a good boss and making sure that my employees are happy both with where the company is going and also their specific role and how to encourage people's best work and all of these other things that you have to worry about when you are the manager, when you are the leader. So again, I really like this book. It has a lot of specific examples and stories. It has a lot of workshop things that you can go through. It's really just a very helpful book to keep on hand always. Another book that I've been reading quite a bit that I really like, it's called Hack Your Anxiety 
Um, this is a little bit of a different one than the other ones that I've recommended because this is about really harnessing yourself. But I think it's really, really important, not just for entrepreneurs, but actually for everyone. So if you look through this book, the whole thesis behind it is that anxiety is not something to be, that you should run away from. It is something that is telling you really important information and how to harness that anxiety into something that's meaningful and productive. I think it's really helpful for entrepreneurs because it is a high stress job. You sort of have a lot of emotions going on um, all at once and all the time. And I think that this book is really good at working with what you have and using that fear and that anxiety to good purposes. Um, so anyway, I really, really recommend this book. The last thing I would say is uh, try to find a book that is a little bit different. You know, I like reading novels, but you might have history or other nonfiction books that you like to read. Sometimes it's good to turn your mind off to something else. And when, especially when you're trying to do something creative, because you can be really stuck, but if you go away for half an hour and really switch your brain to something completely different, I found that when I get back to the thing I'm supposed to do, suddenly I'm a lot more creative and ideas are flowing and I can get things done a lot faster and a lot more effectively than I could do before. Also, funnily enough, I met a VC once and we bonded over the fact that we had the same favorite book. So you never know. The last couple of things that I'll say about books one thing that I like about a book as opposed to blog posts is that it's very easy to just read a blog post really quickly, but I find that I read it and I go, good point, and then I forget about it entirely. Uh, the same argument could be made for these videos, but if you have a book, you can always kind of keep thinking about it, keep building on it, and it's much more likely, I find, that I read a little bit over time and then I'm more likely to actually incorporate their tips and tricks into my everyday life. And it's nice to have a book because they're right here on my desk and I can just refer to them when the situations arise that I need their advice or their help um, or what they have to offer. So it's nice to have books even though I know it's very old school. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. If you have any book recommendations, comment down below. Uh, please like and subscribe and share with any friends who are interested in entrepreneurship. That's all my time for right now. I'll see you later.